Thank you, Jalen. If you have a question, uh, raise your hand. Abby, Christian, and Catherine have some microphones, and uh, we will get one to you. So we'll go ahead and start here in the front with Bob. Uh, hey, Bob Holt, Arkansas Democrat Gazette. I, I know everything today is geared towards offense, as most teams are getting more points and yards than ever. But uh, how tough a year was that last year for you guys defensively, and what gives you confidence you guys can, can play better, you know, hold teams down a little bit better this year? Um, I think just more, um, just more of an execution. Uh, I think that um, us going into our last two games, we uh, the, the two games we won, the Egg Bowl and the Bowl game, started to give us a little bit of confidence, and also too uh, having a spring this season. Uh, spring ball went well, and like I said before, um, us just our second year under this scheme, it's giving guys a lot more confidence. We got a lot of guys coming back, so we're going to be a more experienced defense this year. Jalen, we're going to stay in the center section along that left-hand side about halfway back. John Sokoloff with uh, WCBI-TV in Columbus, Mississippi. Jalen, uh, how are you feeling, man? How was your road to recovery? And I guess what are you looking forward to health-wise this season? Yeah, um, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling fresh. I'm blessed, man. I can't thank God enough. Um, like you said, coming off an injury, I had a, a pretty quick recovery. Thank God for that. And um, just looking to have a a really good healthy season, um, playing a major role in, on this team, just trying to lead the team and um, looking for success. Jalen, we're going to go over here to our right on the right hand section. Hi, Travis Brown from the Bryan College Station Eagle over here. Um, being a Texas guy, how uh, how much do you kind of look forward to getting to, to play Texas A&M? And I know I believe they, they offered you what was that recruitment like uh, uh, for, from the Aggies? Oh, yeah. Being a Texas guy, it's always good to be back home. Uh, that means more family can come to the game. And um, that's a great stadium to always play in. Um, I remember my freshman year I played in it. Uh, Kyle Fields, a very loud stadium. And for recruiting, they definitely were they were heavy on me. Um, they were in my top five. And uh, dream mine was to be in SEC, but Oxford, the town, and the people won me over. Jalen, we're going to go in the middle section. Uh, right. About three quarters of the way back. Hey, Jalen Brooks Cabina from the Advocate. Um, with with defense this year, secondary. What what are y'all looking to improve? Was it better over the off season? Have time together? What are the things that y'all working on to um, get better this year? Uh, like you said, a lot of things really. Um, just that brotherhood bonding, um, learning more not just on the fiscal but the X and O's. Um, it's our second year under that scheme, so us knowing where everybody will be at, what's in the right places, and um, what, what we are expecting, and just to know what your brother on the right has, and just knowing everybody's job, us coming as a unit, uh, putting the pressure on ourselves, um, knowing that if, if we do our job and let the D-line get to the quarterback, this defense could be real good. Okay, we'll go back down here up front to Bob. I wanted to ask you a couple questions about Matt Corral. Um, I guess facing him in practice in the spring, I assume you, you guys faced him some. Um, what did you see from him? How do you think he could be better, even better, this coming season? And after the Arkansas game, the fact that Coach Kiffin, you know, stayed with him and made it clear, hey, he's still the guy, kind of what did that mean to the team? And what did you think about the way he bounced back from that game and finished, finished the year? Uh, well, Matt's one of the hardest workers on the team. And, uh, just with Coach Kiffin uh, sticking with him after that Arkansas game, it really didn't shock any of us because we knew Matt was our guy. He's our leader. And, uh, man, in the spring and all I've been seeing, man, Matt is he, – every day he's always looking to get better. He is getting better. Um, this year I think he's going to um, put up way, way more numbers than he has before uh, just because of his, his mental side of it. You can tell that he's noticing things before the ball snap. He's getting guys aligned. He's, um, he, he's really becoming a general more than he was before. If you have other questions for Jalen, uh, raise your hand and uh, we'll get going. Um, all right, we'll go back here to Bob. Sorry, I'm kind of sticking on a theme here, but you, you, you talked about Matt's you know, the mental side. From a physical standpoint, I mean, facing all the great quarterbacks you have in the SEC, what, what makes him an elite quarterback from a physical standpoint, do you think? Uh, from a physical standpoint, I think it's obviously his arm. He, uh, whether at practice or in games you've seen, DBs can be right on the, 
receiver and Matt's going to throw away. He's going to throw his receiver open. Uh, for the deep ball, he's real accurate. No matter if you're running with the receiver or not, you've got to play his hands because Matt's going to throw it right in the bread basket. Um, and Matt, actually, he's actually pretty fast. Uh, during this offseason right now, he's sticking with a couple of us. We're trying to. And um, I think he uses his legs real well in games. We wait for other questions. Jalen, last year, uh, obviously not the regular build up to the season uh, with the pandemic, not knowing the games and some defensive struggle to tackle and to play consistently. How much are you looking forward to a regular preseason to lead up to the season? And what impact do you think that could have uh, defensively? Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't like to use that as an excuse, but we definitely can um, use this preseason well. Um, I think it all starts with what we're doing now. Uh, during this off season, leading into camp, uh, focusing on those things. And those things are on our mind. Uh, film doesn't lie. We weren't the best at executing. We weren't the best at tackling or stopping offenses. So uh, we make that a main focus as a team. Uh, the coaches stress it enough. So uh, tackling and all those little things, the little details, is um, we know that's what it takes to um, just be a successful team and go down and win a lot of games. All right. Um, let's see. We'll take one final question from Bob here. I promise I didn't, this isn't about Matt. Um, you guys are opening up with Louisville. That, that's a pretty big non-conference game. Obviously, you didn't get to play any non-conference games last year. How do you feel about opening up with Louisville? And does that uh, bring a little more sense of urgency to summer workouts and the fall camp? Uh, not really, just because of the confidence in this team. It doesn't matter who we were going to play. We're uh, treating it like they're the best team in the nation no matter what. But uh, to open up with Louisville is going to be real special, even just being in the neutral side at, in Atlanta on a Monday night. There's not much more you can ask for. And uh, we're just ready to show this, the nation what this team is about and uh, how hard we've been working. All right, Jalen, thank you for your time. Good luck this year. Thank you.